Peace. Peace, not war. Right? Peace, not war. I'm going to say peace and not war. 15 seconds. All right. Peace. See how we keep it real? Low budget shit. You feel me? <laughs> Man continues to be an economic and social slave because of his lack of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of law, history, and science. Let there be light for knowledge is born equality. Light is required to lead man to necessary truths of science, law, and history. The truth in history has been covered up by the use of mythology, theology, races, and nations. The truth needs not to apologize. The ceremonies in masonry are descended from the time of Solomon's temple. Mason used the biblical legends about the temple in their stories and lessons, which they inherited from the building guilds. Back in the Middle Ages, in Europe, the Bible was available only in Latin. Stories from the Bible were acted out in church to teach the biblical lessons to the common people. At first, the priests acted out the stories. But over time, the various trades and guilds became responsible for the acting out particular legends. The Masons had as their part the legends of building of Solomon's temple. And eventually they worked it into their own large ceremonies as well. The ceremonies of masonry came from three sources. The Masonic Guilds of England. The philosophies that were current when modern masonry was getting started in 1717, the date of the first Grand Lodges in uh, modern masonry, and the Hermetic writings that came from North Africa, Byzantine, and Moorish sources also were being discovered by European philosophers and scholars in Africa decades before the founding of modern masonry. These three sources are tangled up, which is why there were so many Masonic histories written for so many years. All of those sources had connections or contact with ceremonial traditions from King Solomon's temple. Alright, peace for my brethren. Jeez, this is divine. What I'm trying to do right here is show you a true setup of the Kabbalah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you look at it first. Okay, you see Malkuth number 10. See 9. Alright, now look. 6 is there. 7. 8. 4. 5. Now right here is D A that's D A A T, remember that. There's Keith there. There's three and there's two. Now the reason why I wanted to show you this and let you get a big look right here on the computer. And this is on a website. I want to really want to show you this part right here, which is one of the most crucial parts. See what happened was when they were trying to hide the truth. What they did was, they took this degree here and switched it with, wait, they switched 8 and 7. They put 8 over here and put 7 over here. And then they took the definition of 6 and switched the definition of 6 and 7. This was the way that you would hide the Kabbalistic tree of life that way, even if people who got a hold of it that didn't take the unwritten portion or class or test or uh, didn't have the initiates or the adepts teach them they wouldn't know that part and that would wreck everything 
Now, if you look up here at the top, you'll see that if you're in masonry, you know you'll do your your three, five, and your seven. Three, five, seven. There it is right there. That's your three. Three. That's right there. Five. Seven. So remember, when you look when you're in the classroom learning this, remember that they switched the definitions of seven and six, which would be Tiferous and Nisa. They switched those two definitions and they switched the positions of eight. And that's why when you're online and you're seeing all these different probabilities to your life, they don't look like this one as far as the numbers. Because I put the true numbers down on what it really is versus the hidden way to put it down so that uh, those who weren't initiated in the rites of the Kabbalah or Masonry and any of these other little different orders, then they wouldn't um, know the key. With that, I'm going to say peace.